Hello everyone, welcome back. So everybody is, I don't know, they're chilling out. I was playing with them for a few sim days to get like 15,000 simoleons and I went ahead and bought a hot tub with it. I'll show you that in a second. I've gotten their relationships all up, kind of. I had them all talk to each other. Eric was getting friendly with Paul, who has the same hair as him, but I think that's all right. He's freaking adorable. Alice is going to signal Salty Seaworth so we could go have her dive. She wants to get a promotion very, very badly, as you can see, anxious to advance and we also need about a thousand simoleons to upgrade our resort tower which i will do today if we can get enough but i'm pretty sure we can so here's our jacuzzi from late night it's it's the one of the cheapest i think it is the cheapest one that i have in my game i'll remodel the the pool area eventually i thought i saw a fish swimming in here my eyes are deceiving me so i will do that once i get like a lot of simoleons but let's see up here nothing special i don't think i did anything to the rest of the resort but I will be turning this into like a little game skill area where they can hang out and play this will be the kids area I'll add a whole bunch of stuff there once I'm once I upgrade the resort I'll be working on all the extra stuff so that should be fun and I will also add a gym and a dancing area that should be super adorable for our resort it'll it'll come along very very nicely it'll come together very nicely in the end I think I want to turn this place into like <clears throat> a two-story thing how it was before until I like took it down sort of so where the heck is salty seaworth come on dude let's go signal him again and then I'll add like the ballroom area over here and maybe have it connect and put like a room in the middle I don't know I don't know <laughs> let me know it's very hard to build these resorts when it's already because I like the way this looks so I just gotta add on to it so salty seaworth get your little tushy over here you take it forever and Kara I had her talk to Mateo just to keep their friendship up because I played for about like one one sim week or something I didn't make them do anything crazy uh, or important except Kara did get a promotion she's now a rapid rescuer rescuer with speed and aplomb you repeatedly pluck terrified oh no terrified swimmers from the unforgiving water soon you'll be swimming in well-earned respect Kara can now use a special lifeguard beach towel okay let's go have her do that actually I don't think I've I don't think I've seen that before and I don't even think I've read that before Eric is also an ingredient taster and at the special, that's one of the base game careers. So let's see, Air Kara, can you come over here and go relax? Yay, with our cool, with our cool beach towel. And Alice, if Salty Seaworth does not come in like one sim hour, I'm ditching him and we're going scuba diving on our own. I don't think he's gonna come. Carpool for Eric. Oh, look how cool! Oh, that's pretty! Oh, she's special! See that, dude? You wish you had this. Domingo. Or, what is his name? Dominguez? What is it? Oh, all Olin. <laughs> what is this? This poor Sim. I called him a what? Domingo Owens. Paparazzi from Lay Night. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think Salty Seaworth is coming, and if he does come, I'll just have Eric talk to him. It's fine. Let's go to, I believe this is Rocky Reef. Let's go boat here, because if she doesn't freaking boat there, she's just going to, like, you know, swim all the way over there and take hours, because she's crazy. Let's go. Yes, we're going. I just want to make sure Salty Seaworth doesn't come, but I don't think he's going to. So Eric goes to work in a couple hours. Alice, all right, Kara, she is reading something on her beach towel, her pretty beach towel. Let's go have her actually work out because we got to get her another promotion so we could get even more cash money. And what is our resort stay pricing? I think we can make it expensive with with like without getting in trouble for it like without people complaining but we're making 3078 simoleons that's crazy that's a lot and our reviews are all good reviews mostly this guy everywhere i looked there was sushi to eat uh ooh, pool clean cleanliness cleanliness <laughs> very convenient room service okay good no hot tub i just freaking added one. Oh no i suppose a warm bubble bath bath of water will suffice oh geez I cannot, I'm just mixing all the words up. <laughs> okay, Alice, Salty Seaworth doesn't want to hang out with you. I'm sorry. And I think she's there already. That's good. So let's go and scuba dive, get some extra money. Where's she going? No, why must you leave? 
Okay, it's right over here. Let's go dive underwater. I can have her swim there. It's fine. It's not too far, I don't think. Oh, and Kara, actually, I was having her learn handiness skills so we can upgrade our, our houseboat and, like, a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't think we need handiness for anything important, but I wanted her to learn it because she is our handy sim, I think. Yes, she is. Okay, good. So if you click on, like, the wall or I think the the this thingy the steering wheel you can upgrade it to foghorn and engine speed so once she's done maybe does she work today i'm gonna have her upgrade it to foghorn because i want to see what that's like first you could probably only have like one of those if not then i will totally do both upgrades but i want to test out the foghorn first because that should be funny <laughs> at least i think it should be funny it'll be all loud like a train horn or something and like deep sounding that'd be crazy all right, Alice, let's go. She's hungry. I'm going to have her eat some kelp while she's down here. We're going through this kelp, like, fairly quickly. There's a jellyfish. Look at this jellyfish just, like, trying to swim along. What is that? Oh, no, that's a sea anemone. Oh, we found a seashell. Okay. I put another seashell up over there. It's sea urchin. Ooh. What did we catch? A sea anemone. Okay, there's the sea anemone. Uh, I don't see anything else, though. So... Can we? I wish you could fight a shark. I've been told mermaids can't fight sharks, so that's unfortunate. But I'm not going to have her dive in this thing unless I see the tentacles because we all know what happens. They get teleported unless it gets, it, unless it resets itself. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that, ugh, it just, it doesn't want to let me go. Is there anything down here? I think we might have to go to another dive spot. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't see anything fun to catch. Let's go to, yeah, we're going to definitely have to go to another dive spot. I want to go to, like, Mermaid Grotto or something. Jeez, they're all so far away. All right, let's boat here. Boat here. Cool. Boom. Let's go. Alice, hurry it up. So we caught a sea urchin. Can we actually put this in our tank? I would love to put that in our tank. I would love to put all of this stuff in our tank. I think I tried to put, like, a shell, but it wouldn't let me put a shell. Or there might be two. Oh, no. Our octopus died. <laughs> Oh no, look at him. The poor thing. I was like, what is floating up there? That's why I paused. Okay. Oh, cool. We could put, oh my gosh. Octopus. Oh no, I think we're full. Okay. Kara, um, Eric, he's at work. Let's have him suck up to boss. Cause he actually needs to get, become friends with his boss. And then I'll have Alice when she's done, maybe go home. Kara has been conferred to the new title of buoyancy virtuoso by the Isla Paradisa town council in recognition of her valuable contribution to the workforce. A lifeline to all swimmers in distress, weak or strong. You could drag an entire baseball team to shore if you need... What the heck, Alice? Stop it. Uh, dive underwater. Okay. If you need to... Where is she going? Oh, no. <laughs> Kara can now wade and swim faster. Uh, Alice, can you come dive under the water? With somebody who's here. Dive underwater with Persephone. I don't see Persephone. I think it's lying to me. Maybe Persephone's like secretly following me. Or maybe she, does she live over here? I don't think so. She lives in that huge red house. It's like, it's like red and white. It's so pretty. Okay, Alice, you're going to find some awesome stuff down here. Let's pause it so I don't miss anything. Or maybe unpausing it would be better so I can see extra stuff. We've already gotten the chests in here, I believe. We got all of them, hopefully. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I don't see any fish. What the heck? I want to catch some some delicious fish to eat. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Maybe she can eat her octopus. That's I don't want her to do that though. We we our octopus died and I really want to I really want another one. Okay, look, here's another one of these shell things. I wonder if that can go in our in our fish tank. Possibly. Here's another one that we got. There was that creepy Look at this. Look at this. That freaks me out. What the heck? Why? Look. Why does that happen? It's just... Oh, no. It's gone. That's like one of the... I don't know. I'm watching too much Supernatural. I have like bad dreams now about ghosts and stuff. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? That's probably not... Oh, jeez. Look at how detailed it is. That actually looks really nice. Okay, she caught a rare clam shell worth a lot of money. Oh, my gosh. Oh... We can now officially upgrade our resort tower after she gets the kelp and after she catches this fish. Okay, let's have her catch it. Look at this guy. Look at his mouth. He has, like, lips, it looks like. She just collected three pieces of kelp. She caught the tuna worth 15 simoleons. That's nothing. Oh, hey, scuba diver. You want to hang out with me? 
Greet. Hi. I wonder if you can be like, can I, you want some mermaid kelp? Mermatic kelp? That'd be great. Okay, let's go home. Kara is now upgrading it to Foghorn. She's almost done with it, amazingly. That was quick. Okay, let's put this in here. And then I'm going to have her clean out our poor octopus. <laughs> I'm so sad. Scoop out the dead fish and then feed them. And I think I, I only put in like two, anem I mean, two anchovies. And it looks like they've breeded. I didn't even know that can happen. I'm going to take the... Oh, hey. Cool. Oh, no. I can't take that one out. I'm going to take all of these out. I'm going to give them to Alice. Alice is going to put, no, nope, can't put that in there. Sea urchin. I don't know if we could put it in there. It's not, can we? Octopus? Okay. I'm just going to let them scoop it out and then I'll see what happens. <laughs> Kara is almost done with it. And then I'm going to use the foghorn. Cool. Blow foghorn. Woo woo. Okay. Let's not feed and scoop out dead fish. Let's do this. I don't know why she's in her her formal wear, but she looks nice. I like it. I'm going to let her stay there. Can we do it? Do it. Foghorn. Come on. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. That was totally worth it. Scoop out dead fish and then feed. Is she going to do it again? Oh no. She's managing the helm. Okay, Eric, you're almost done. Alice is underwater and... I don't know if... Oh, yeah. I was going to upgrade the resort tower. Okay. I will do that just now. Let me see if there's anything else for me to catch. And then I will probably have her head on home. I don't see anything. I got to get Kara in a fight with the shark. That's going to be tough. Because it happened unintentionally when that when Alice got in a, in a fight with the shark. You know. Right after she got the mermatic kelp. It was like the strangest thing ever. What? Oh, geez. That scared me. I don't know. That, that freaked me out. Even though I kind of know what it is. Let's go get this eel i want to catch the eel don't want to view that we got 275 oh my gosh uh look in your sims inventory oh we got french toast thank you thank you boss no one's ever given me french toast before can we catch this eel i wonder if there's like oh yeah we definitely caught it okay go home alice she's just gonna like swim home she's so weird eric is going home okay we got some delicious looking french toast holy moly Kara, she's at home. Okay, good. I thought I told you to put that book back. What the heck? Silly Billy. Let's put some, some fish in here and then I will upgrade the resort tower if it can load. There we go. I want to put in our tuna. Can it fit? It's tiny. What? Eel. Oh my gosh. These things are tiny. Octopus. Sea urchin. Was that the sea urchin? Yeah, I think that was. And this was a sea anemone. Jeez, look at all these fish. That was, that, they were huge and now they're like super tiny. Okay, well, Kara, can you please feed them so they don't die? And then Eric, oh no, I didn't mean to actually do that. Let's go and upgrade our resort tower and let's see what this looks like. Let's get a good view. It's a little dark, but that's fine. Upgrade, 10,000 simoleons. Oh, holy jeez, that, it, that was ginormous. It, look at how much it added. Oh, okay, you know what? I think we're going to officially make our resort cost a lot of money to, to stay at. Expensive. Resort management, resort stay pricing, expensive. And now let's see how much we're making. I think it should change like right now. I don't know. Oh gosh, that's so much money. 42 people can stay here. Almost 5,000 simoleons. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Well, I'm amazed at this thing. We're definitely going to get five stars soon. Oh, this is, this is very fun. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just, I'm in shock still. That's so much money. I can't even believe it. We're going to make about 4,000, I think, because our resort costs about 6,000, or I mean 1,000 to run. So let's go. Don't break a sweat. I'm just going to have her keep exercising. Eric, I keep forgetting to make Alice eat too, eat like a whole bunch of sweets because that's, uh, what gets her to back to how she was. What? Is she she's swimming yeah she okay i'm not gonna have you swim because you take forever and then we shall have her go home when she gets over here i want her to signal salty seaworth so we can become love bugs no 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 okay go home please there in the boat please stay in the boat oh man if you freaking get out of the boat and start swimming i'm going to i'm gonna be so sad because <laughs> you're gonna be so tired cotton eel worth eight eight hundred geez we are we're making so much money now i'm very i'm very shocked she wants to find 20 seashells good luck with that <laughs> let's go sell these and then i'll have her hold on to these anchovies so she can eat them 
which is lovely. <laughs> and let's see. I also, I found another one of those shells like off camera. So I put it over here and it looks nice. Kind of, I just need to put like something else right there. It should look, should look really pretty. I wish we could find all of the stupid bottles. I don't even know like where to look. I should be looking on beaches. That's a good place to look for, for bottles. And look, there's one right here. I don't know why we can't get this one. <laughs> uh, oh, we also have to add a resort to Mermaid Island, which I will do once we're done, like, decking this place out, making it look nice. And this houseboat will be on the exchange, but I kind of want to add more stuff to their room. So I'll do that probably, mm, I don't know when we're going to get more money. I don't know, like, how much money we're going to end up getting. What happened? Is this broken? This is broken. Okay, Carrie, get your little butt over here and go repair the all-in-one bathroom. Silly Billy. She wants to upgrade five objects. I could do that. That's easy. No, you can't go diving. I was going to have her learn the, the diving skill. I still want to do that, but I don't know how long it's going to take her. Look at They're all in their formal wear. Why are they in their formal wear? I don't know. They just all want to wear their, their formal outfits. This is Eric's, too. If you haven't seen the first one, this is... I showed all of their outfits in the beginning of the first video of the series. So, yeah. I think... Wow, gosh. We did a lot in this, in this episode. That's crazy. Our resort tower is looking magnificent. Jeez. Look at that. That looks so fancy. I like it. I'm gonna have to add some like black fences maybe around here. I wish they had a fence that kind of matched that. That would look nice. That would go with our resort really, really well. But our resort is coming along, you know? It's it's still very small. Our freaking room space is bigger than this, which is actually, sorry, that was my timer, which is actually how hotels kind of are, ex unless it's like above a casino or something. I don't know. Like in Vegas, they have, uh, like, every hotel has a casino <laughs> on the strip. I don't know. So I'm going to have to mess around with this once we get a lot more money. I don't use money cheats, uh, so I don't I don't want to do that. I know a lot of people suggest it whenever I say we need money, but I, I like the struggle with money. So, yeah, I will talk to you all later. I hope you enjoyed this video and our resort. <laughs> and thank you for all the compliments on the houseboat. I like the inside of it. I just, I don't know. I, it was just a big old square when I made it. So I didn't think the outside was very fancy. But the inside turned out really, really nice. Especially the downstairs. Uh, I like my use of space. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.